in there. Oh, this does, huh, that's interesting. Alrighty, so it looks like I gotta return this. Yeah, like, like that. that's it, like this is all it has. That's it. So yeah, uh, off to uh, Home Depot we go. I'm actually gonna do this now. I'm at Cave Tools today. Let's have a little fun and unbox and test out the brand new Ryobi HP battery kit. If this was $200 at Home Depot, then you get a free tool with that. So $214 for all this, not bad. And we're gonna do a lot of versus videos in the future with this tool against other brands. So let's get to it. All right, so the, the new Ryobi HP reciprocating saw, five pounds and 8.0 ounces. The new six amp hour HP battery is one pound and 11 ounces. And the older lithium plus HP six amp hour battery is two pounds and eight ounces. So there is a weight difference between these two. Please subscribe to the channel, you guys. A versus video between these is coming up in the power and duration. All right, the test for this tool, I actually wanna test the batteries out and see how well these actually do. 1.5 amp hour uh, regular uh, lithium battery versus the two amp hour HP battery. And let's see what the difference is between these two with using this tool. This does have the HP connections in the back of it, just to let you know. We're gonna do three cuts and add them together. Huh, that's interesting. All right, let's see if I can do it uh, with it already running, then go into the wood. All right, the 1.5 amp hour battery is having issues with that. Let's try it one more time. That's actually surprising to cut a single two by four. Yep, the 1.5 amp hour battery is having issues. This blade might suck. Let's see if we put the two amp hour HP battery in there. Battery in the two amp hour HP battery is full. Let's try that again. That is rough. That is a rough cut. You see the entire unit vibrating? That's because it's, it's a rough cut. Battery is full on the four amp hour. That's smoother. Let's do the six amp hour, then we're gonna switch out blades. Oh yeah. That's better. You can tell that the strokes per minute is a lot, it's running a lot smoother. That's disappointing though, that it doesn't, Like I said in all my videos, I do not like blades that come with the tool. They most of the time are garbage. All right, so we're gonna use the Milwaukee wood with nails, uh, six inch, five teeth per inch. This is model number 5035. So let's see in how it is with this. All right, let's try this again. Let's see how this does. That's moving on me. Let's make that tighter. What a, yeah, what a difference in saw blades. This is the, my jaw horse is not moving. It's barely vibrating. All right, let's go back to the 1.5 amp hour. Let's see what that can do. The regular 1.5. Yeah, flashing out. The, let's just finish that though. Yeah, that 1.5 doesn't produce enough power. Let's try the two amp hour again. Now let's move on to something bigger.
All right, let's go to the six amp hour. Then let's, we're gonna time this one. Let's time this. Time. All right, let's go uh, switch over to a four by four. But what a difference in saw blades, you guys. Like, do not, I, I cannot stand the blades that the tool comes with. Get separate blades. I gotta cut this really quick. There is a space right here I'm gonna use. That's the two amp hour. And let's do one with the six amp hour. See, when it comes to the Ryobi stuff, the Ryobi stuff is powerful, but these, this does require a higher amp hour battery. It really does. It, it's not too shabby, but you know, it, I'm really not too impressed with it, but it does get the job done. A lot of tests are coming up with this. We're gonna continue to use the six amp hour battery. We're gonna see uh, the distance of that too. It, it's, a, it's rough, I'm not gonna lie you guys, this is rough. Yeah, this is a rough, this is a rough tool. All right, well, let's do a temperature reading on this. This has been sitting for like about five minutes. So let's do a temperature reading on this really quick. 113, 105, and 10 degrees. All right, I'm not gonna lie, it's, this really doesn't impress me that much. I was expecting a little bit better because it's the newer technology for their HP system because I feel that the previous brushless model was a little bit better than this. It felt smoother. This specific model feels a little rough. It does. And so, but this is not the only video that we're doing of this, where this is gonna be in a lot of videos in the future. So yeah, so let's see how this is with metal. Variable trigger only. bad that actually wasn't bad at all when it comes to metal it's really when it comes to metal it's really not about the tool it's about the blade if you have a good blade that can cut metal and cut it for a little while then the tool is going to act good because this is just how long the teeth last on the on the blade i wish the shoe was a little bit looser time see like i said cutting metal with a reciprocating saw is not hard if you had a sh crappy blade then it's going to be hard but the walkie blades are actually really good blades oh you can't really even adjust it that's that's short that's short yeah you can't really adjust that maybe a half an inch if you're lucky but yeah that, that yeah you can't you can't adjust that but that's what this channel's for. All right, guys, so when it comes to this reciprocating saw, it, it'll be great for a DIYer or a homeowner, or maybe even a, a backup for a professional. But my experience straight out of the box is this thing vibrates 
a lot. It really does vibrate a lot. And, and yeah, the, I think this, uh, I was hoping that this would be a little bit more powerful, but we'll put that to the test as the tool gets broken in. Technically, it's a free tool that I got with this, with this kit, so it really isn't that bad of a reciprocating saw for a free tool. But it's also not a bad purchase reciprocating saw for $120. I think this was $115 and $120 like a uh, little under a year ago. Just recently with everything that's going on, the prices of tools went up. So this is a $130 tool. So but that's it's not bad for what it is though. It's really not. Remember we use these batteries. This might be a completely different tool using the older style HP batteries, including the three amp hour HP battery with 21700 cells, which that video will be coming up soon. So please subscribe to the channel for that. And also please subscribe to the channel for this. This versus video is coming up soon. It's really not that bad of a tool for a straight out of the box. Now tools do need to be broken in to reach their full potential. And we will see that in the, uh, in the near future with versus videos, but yeah, not not too shabby though you know like every tool has its purpose and for what i see so far this would be a good homeowner slash diy slash backup uh for a professional uh for a professional contractor having this in your arsenal just in case you need to do that last couple of cuts and your main reciprocating saw is sort of not working that well this would be a good backup for a professional contractor just in case all right, so more versus videos are coming up and plenty of uh, videos in the future. So please subscribe to the channel, but that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.